Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. There's going to be swearing. There's going to be drinking. There's going to be smoking cigarettes and alcohol and tobacco on here. Look, if you don't like those things, well, you've been warned. Because here I come in three, two, one. Bang! Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. And welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. We have a great show for you today. Bang! Yes. Yeah, so we're going to get a little crypto crypto we tonight. <laughs> yes. All right. So, top news, Qtum. Uh, Qtum, a Google Cloud rollout. Here we go. They're going to roll out some stuff on the Google Cloud. We're going to read about Qtum and that. So, Qtum, hodlers, bang, there you go. And then this one here, <laughs> this is so crazy. So, you guys know Singularity Net. We'll talk about when we get there. Singularity Net is the AI thing. Yeah, yeah, they have a robot that talks. Yeah, yeah, Singularity Net has a robot, and she speaks. It's called Sophia. Google that. Singularity Net. Sophia. Uh, it talks. It answers you. Anyways, they have a new customer. This is weird as hell. Domino's Pizza. <laughs> you heard me. Domino's Pizza. This AI thing is going to be deployed by Domino's Pizza in Asia. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that. And then, bang. I've been telling you guys how things are going to go. But I know, you know, yeah, yeah, who am I, right? I'm just a guy drinking, smoking, swearing, cursing, hanging out, right? So I'm going to let you hear it from what's going to go forward from a CEO. You know, I like to I like to let you hear from a CEO. So look, we're going to bang. We're going to get it going. Bang. We're going to be quick about it. Bang. It's going to be a quick night tonight. Yes, brothers. So, brothers, let's do how we, oh, oh, oh okay, so, oh, 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 you're not going to talk about a dog? My bad, my bad, of course. Bang. Yes, look at the Bitcoin. So, you know, we're above, you know, um, we're at 5.8, 5, 5.8.19, 5, 8, hold on. So, 5.8.39, and then let's do a refresh right now. The refresh, yeah, hold on. All right, 5824. So, all right, right there. So, yeah, high double digits in the fives. Um, high double digit fives. Man, things are looking nice. And um, what I want to see is consolidation around. Um, I want to see is between now five, uh, you know, between five, six, and, and, and six. You know, I'd like to see is consol. I mean, obviously, I want to see is to go all the way up. I mean, but that's not going to really happen realistically. So realistically, what I'd like to see now is us stay comfortably here. Because what you got to remember is, brothers, is that this. Remember, there are no more weak hands, right? And so first of all, all right, let's fucking do this in fucking order. So first of all, brothers, what I want you to know is you got to buy everything now. Bang, accumulate. Accumulate. Put it in your cryptocurrency warehouse now. Products with, like we've been showing you the past, man, I've been showing you. All right, that are generating revenue. Put them in your warehouse. Keep accumulating every paycheck, every paycheck. You get 26 paychecks a week, I mean a year. If you're a nine to five kind of every two week kind of worker guy, but every paycheck, you put something in the warehouse, bang, just keep shoving it in, shoving it in. Cover your bills, but then cover your cryptocurrency warehouse because you're about to get rich because there are no more weak hands in this market. There's no, there are no more sellers. All of last year, that's what that was. <laughs> that bloodbath we went through last year. Yeah, those are all a bunch of regular folk. Yeah, who who just, you know, they got in on the the frenzy of the 2017 thing, and you know, didn't understand. <laughs> you know. They just didn't understand, you know, how things work and stuff. And so, you know, they fucking ran away. Ah, scared. Ah. All right. But there are no more of those people. And so what we had. So let me explain to you how the the flow of this market is. In 2017, we had retail investors come here. Yeah. And they pumped all their money in. Regular nine to five folk. <laughs> Prices went up. Some made money. But then when prices started going down, they got scared. 
Yeah, they're just nine to five guys. I mean, they got wives and kids, and of course, man, you gotta save your money. It's understandable. Yeah, so that brought that bubble, that popped that bubble. And so I felt like I felt some water on my shoulder. <laughs> my bad. And then, but now what we're about to get into is the institutional bubble. Yes, they FOMO like everyone else. Remember this. These institutions, they're there to do what? Earn, <coughs> earn, generate revenue for their shareholders. So when, when the first guys start coming, <laughs> when the first guys start coming, right, they're going to be making the money at first. And when everyone sees that they're making money, yeah, well, what do you think? If I'm a, hedge, if I'm a, a guy and I have a hedge fund and I'm in a hedge fund, well, I asked that dude, like, dude, are we in crypto or what? Right, right. When he keeps hearing his customers complain to him, yo, I'm sick of making this bond money. I want to make some crypto money. Yeah, well, you'll come over here, right? It, 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 you know, they're going to FOMO too. And that's what, I want you to remember this. I'm 45 years old, right? Uh, I've told you guys that. And so you guys who are my age, you remember. You remember the dot com bubble. Remember, from 1992 till 2000. Yeah, eight-year bubble. That's what we're about to start right now. That's what we're about to start right now. And that's why when I tell you guys, buy all you can right now before you get priced out of the big caps, the large caps, and before you get just before you get priced out of anything, buy, 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 buy. Because it's going to be, yeah, just like the dot-com bubble. Yeah, an eight-year frenzy. <laughs> At least. Because this is a whole, the whole, right? It took eight eight years to get the world, I guess, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, interneted up. What do you call that? Like, networked. All right. Well, it's going to take about eight years. I don't know how many years. I don't know how many years. But brothers, to get everyone blockchained up, right? So by now, we are at the right at the bottom. Between three running right now, three one on the Bitcoin and now, that was the bottom. And you're at it right now, so keep accumulating. Keep accumulating, piling. Uh, so first of all, the brothers that were here, if you were here last year, and if you're new, well, what we did was, well, we weeded out the bullshit. And also, you, we built warehouses. And so you just keep, and so brothers, keep building that warehouse. By now, brothers, you should have what you plan to attack this market with in your warehouse. You know what I mean? Like I have 13 cryptos that I'm in, but I have seven that those are the ones that are going to make me millions. You know what I mean? And those are the ones that right now I'm piling in. Those other six, look, man, <laughs> you know, just look, the seven that I have, the ones that I, that I plan are my killers. Bang, bang, bang. bang. I just keep piling into them. And I just, you know, uh, just I keep emphasizing that to you because this is it, guys. We're at the bottom. We're here. Like, we left already. In fact, the bottom is gone. That was 3-1 on the Bitcoins. We're at 5 what? 8 two, four. <laughs> That's almost... If you bought Bitcoin at the bottom at 3-1, where we at? 5-8. Yeah, you're almost doubled up already. Yeah, that's from Q1 till now. Shit's getting real. Shit's getting real. So you got... Every paycheck, guys. Now's not the time for any yap yap. Look, the yap yap from the wife about a new kitchen. Pff, you just tell, look, I don't even be nice about it. Just tell her, look, get out of here. And your homeboys, they want to go to, they want to go to Vegas. They want to go hunting. Look, get out of here. Because you're in crypto mode. All right. You are in crypto mode. All right. All right, brothers. Seriously, guys, this is the serious business. You know what I mean? I mean, like I've shown you, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance, right? You've got the assets that the rich guys want. Yeah, well, get all of them. You can, motherfucker. Like, or else these guys, you know, or else you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it, all right? All right. Look, guys. All right. What do we do? Man, I'm just serious, man. I really want, I'm not doing this for fucking nothing. I want millionaires out of this. <laughs> bang all right let's just do how we start bang top 10 of the day brothers yes 
the usual suspects. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Tether, Stellar, and Bank Cardano. Look. Single loads up, single loads down. Single loads up, to single loads down. Like, this is the real deal, brothers. This is the real deal. You get your shit now. Single loads up, to single loads down. Single loads up, to single loads down. All right. Now. Excuse me. Let's see who lost money today, brothers. If you see anything on here you like, go get it. Heesh, not much for sale, but I don't give a fuck about a sale. Go get it if you like it. Top 10 losers of the day, brothers. Maximine Coin, Basic Attention, Tesla, Sororo, Zilliqa, Orbs, Maker, Die, Decentraline, and Bang, Populous. Let's see who made money today, brothers. Bang, yes, not much, but they go get it. Well, that's not go getting it. I guess you missed it if it already made the money, but look. <laughs> I hope you own some of this. Yes, that's the way to say it. Digix DAO, Crypto.com, Bitcoin Gold, Cosmos, Aeon, ABGC Coin, Crypto, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Decred, and bang, Insight Chain. All right, let's look at our market cap of the day. And today we're at, bang, 185.7. Yesterday we were at 181.3. So we are still going up in market cap. Money is coming here. And money is staying here. Now let's look at our 24-hour volume of the day. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> but, yo, guys, do you remember? Do you remember last November, December? Remember when we were at like $19 billion volume a day? Do you remember that? Remember we were at $14 billion? And actually, $19 billion was the like, oh, we're at 19 Remember that? <laughs> yes. That's the war, brothers, we've been through. Look at this shit now. 59.6 billion tonight. And yesterday, yesterday we were at 49.3. Bye! Yes. So we went up $10 billion, $10.3 billion. Yes, brothers. Here comes the money, and it is staying. It is staying now. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to see what happens over the weekend. And like, look, man, like I said, like, guys, I want you to be, I want to tell you guys the truth about what's happening is that from now on, there are no more weekends. So every new dollar that gets in here is just going to drive prices up. Yeah, this is the truth. From now on, for the next, pfft, now for the next eight years, all we're going to, eight years, dog? Yes. Just like the dot-com bubble. We're just going to see prices slowly go up, consolidate, up, consolidate, up, consolidate. Are there going to be weeks, days, or weeks of blood reds? Sure. But never like, you know, in a detrimental way. It will still always be in an uptrend. I'm a trend trader. You guys know I'm a Forex trader. Go to forexfactory.com. If you want to see who you're talking to, if you're new, well, I'm an investor. I'm a trader. I'm a professional trader. That's how I make my money. I don't have a nine-to-five job. My money makes me money. Go to forexfactory.com, type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. Back. You know what? Fuck all this. Let's go look at it right now. I'll show you fuck sticks right now. All right? And look, this is what I'm telling you. I want you to understand this. Yes. I want you to understand this. This is Forex Factory. This is where me and my boys play. Yes, and we're killers. <laughs> And then all you do is go up here to the top on the right. See how I'm here up on the right? S-H-O-M-A-R-I. Bang! Just press that. And then press Shamari's profile. Bang! And there I am. Bang! Those are two uh, Olympic athletes. American volleyball sisters. Yes. But anyways, go down here and then here's my whole profile. Every single post I made, they're all time stamped. They're all legit. Now, oh, there's me with Hugh Hefner. He was selling this stuff called, uh, I don't remember what it was, Sex Juice or something. I don't remember what the hell that was called. But he was here in Miami for some porno thing. My friends brought it to me. But look, go to, hmm, go to right here. Where is it? Images. Bang. Right, and there you go. There's a whole bunch of my trades. See all those trades? Those are live. Those are timestamped live. You see all my, you know, my comments on them. 
uh, to the other killers I'm talking to, and bang, 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 look at all the money. Bang, 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 look at the money. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, look at that short. Boop. Yes, we murdered that one. <laughs> nice. Yes. And here you see trend scans. I even give you trend scans. Stuff like that. And so, I mean, if you guys want to, oh, look at that long. Bang. Yes. But if you want to, uh, I even have free software on here. Here, I'll show you guys right here. You guys want some free software? Yeah, I got about $800 worth. Give it to you free. Right here. See nine files? Let's press that and see what that shows up. Bye. Where's those files? There it is. Yep. Forex currency index. Bang, a scanner. It's a $300 piece of software. And they got the 3MSA dashboard. Bang, that's a 200 piece of software. And then look at all the other softwares there. So look, if you want to be a Forex trader, have at it. But look, that's who you're talking to if you want to know who you're talking to. I'm the real deal, motherfucker. Bang. You know what I mean? When you're on YouTube, ask everybody. Ask all your favorite YouTubers. What you in, dog? What you trading, son? They're not trading fuck all. They're a nine-to-five worker guy like you. They don't know any more than you. Bang. All right, enough of that, though. Bang. Let's get to cue them. Bang. Holy. That's been like a 20-minute before we even got to the show. Look, brothers, Qtum confirms Google Cloud features roll out to improve user accessibility. Bang. Yes. But I said all that just to say this. When I tell you guys you're going to be rich, know that you're talking to a 19-year investor. I'm not here to bullshit you. I don't have to bullshit you. My money makes me money. I don't get paid from YouTube to do this. I do this because I like just to make, I want to help motherfuckers thrash. <laughs> These institutional investors, you guys, thrash the institutional investors that are coming. I want you to make money off of this, this once-in-a-lifetime chance. All right. Why, dog? I don't know why. Why? I don't know why. I just do, and I am, so fuck it. Like, why not? Why does everything always have to be about money? Right? I have a lot of friends, right? Well, dog, you ain't making any money. Why are you doing it? I don't know. I, I like the thought of a bunch of regular guys getting all this money, right? It's like, why are you talking to that girl, man? You ain't fucking her. I don't know. She's funny. I like hanging out with her. You know what I mean? Like, everyone always narrows everything down to these tiny little things. What? Like, why, do I, why does it always have to be about those things? Why can't it just be about hanging out? Why can't it be just be about, well, helping dudes slaughter these guys? <laughs> So look, brothers, cue them. Decentralized blockchain platform cue them is working with Google Cloud as a software partner to increase the ease of launching native products for users, the company confirmed in a blog post on May 2nd. Nice. Cue them, which, like the Ethereum platform, focuses on smart contracts and decentralized applications, has already released a suite of of developer tools on Google Cloud, which executives hope will further uptake. Yes, all right. I noticed that this year, isn't it, right? Ethereum, uh, Tron. We read about the VeChain developer thing. Oh, man, these guys cute them. All these guys are making big pushes for developers to come write uh, distributed apps on their blockchains, right? I told you guys, that's where I think the battle of the blockchains will be. It'll be about distributed apps and who who can land the, the biggest names doing a distributed app on their blockchain. <laughs> well, we have this many transactions. We have that many. Well, now we're quantum proof. Now we're this proof. You'll see, you'll see for the next 10 years. <laughs> That's why I own them all. Look. Hey, you know, you don't know who's going to win, so you got to own them all, brother. You got to own them all and then weed them out, weed out the weak ones later. That's going to be down the road for years, though. That'll be down two, three years down the road, though. I own them all, brothers. Look. Uh, Google Cloud is the perfect partner to help us make the blockchain ecosystem simpler and more intuitive. When launching a node was once an intensive and complex, uh, complex process, Qtum's new developer suite introduces helpful shortcuts and tools to make it faster and easier. 
Remember we were reading about the V-Chain thing? What they say? Just a couple clicks. And we read about the thing yesterday, right? Same thing, right? They said a couple clicks. Amazon. Amazon with the Ethereum thing, right? They said a couple clicks. Yes. They're getting down to clicks now. All right. You're right. You don't have to be a, f- a full-on tech nerd now to rock some shit, to rock some, some blockchain. With a more accessible technology, we hope to open up and expand the Qtum community to include people with a broader range of experience, from experts to the everyday user. Yes, the everyday user. The developer tools of, I told you, man, bang, I love these D apps. <laughs> All right, let me calm down. The developer tools of, available include D app development, bang, launching a full node, bang, forking, bang, and staking on Qtum, bang, and bang, yes. So when the Qtum source code is updated, Google Cloud will automatically update the code everywhere, saving developers the need to manually re-download in order to remain on the latest version. Yes, you're going to get automatic updates. I'm not going to bullshit you. I got Windows 10. I'm not a fan of this automatic update bullshit. We need to, re- we need to re- restart your computer, Shamari. Who the fuck even told you to fucking download anything on it anyway? Yes. But anyway, but... Maybe in the D app world, that's a good thing. <laughs> Look, brothers, in January, another feature rolled out on Tecutum. Users in the form of atomic swaps with Bitcoin, allowing users to automatically trade one cryptocurrency token with another without intermediary infrastructure. Bang. Yes. So here you go, Qtum lovers. Qtum hodlers. Bang. Looks like you got some cloud. Looks like it's going to be easy. Looks like that's the way of the future, man. These guys are rolling out these distributed app sort of building yeah that's what's going on right they're allowing guys they're they're rolling out these sort of areas where you can have a distributed app area where if you're a real computer programmer sure you go in and code away code away a million lines of code but they have these things now like i just showed you the v the v chain thing and then this one and then we read that other one the other day you know, we're just, and I told you about my buddy. He's got the company here, right? Yeah, he just pointed and clicked uh, to build his app. And so, bang, I told you guys, man, that's we're going to be where the battle is. Anyways, we will watch that going forward, brothers. Bang, and if you're a cutum hodler, bang, good for you. And bang, have at it. Bang, now, <laughs> this is so crazy. I, so, I bring this up. <laughs> Edwin brought this up in, in, in Twitter. I was just like, what the fuck? So he knows that I like <laughs> I like Singularity Net. Well, I don't like it. I do own some Singularity Net, but actually I find it spooky. The motherfucker who runs it, his name is Dr. David Gortzel. Yeah, like, let me say something. I'm no conspiracy type or any kind of bullshit like that. But if ever... You know, like in the movies, Terminator, you know, the Terminators take over the humans or like in the Matrix, right? The the robots take over the humans. That's going to be because of this guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he's got a robot. Its name is Sophia. Well, first of all, he has an AI and the AI speaks, but then he has a robot that speaks through the AI. So the AI speaks, but then the robot actually does the talking. It's called Sophia. Yeah, go Google that. Google that. Singularity Net Sophia. Yes. She talks. Yeah, man. You talk to her. She talks back. Shit like that, brothers. And uh, (laughs) Ronka showed us this one video. Son of a bitch. He showed us this one video. Yeah, yeah. She starts asking, how could she make rockets? Yeah. Look, look, look. I'm no paranoid motherfucker. But seriously, just think about this. This is, I know this isn't crypto and lock, man. I'm just going to have fun tonight. It's Saturday and, you know, it's fucking 341 in the morning and I'm feeling nice. But think about this, okay? If you're a robot, what is the problem of Earth? Is it not humans? Like every other, I know it's, it's, that's what the movies always say. But isn't it true? It's true. Every other species lives in symbiosis with each other. Lives in, lives in this ecosystem with each other. We destroy this place. So what if you build some AI? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. And this AI thing is serious. I know I'm sounding crazy, but go and listen to this this AI thing talk. Right? If you're an AI, wouldn't you think, look, man, 
if we just get rid of these fucking humans, everything will be all right. <laughs> just like the movies. All right. Anyways, and, and, but all right. So that's that about the singularity net. It's crazy, man. It's called Sophia. S-O-P-H-I-A. Google that. Yeah, look at the videos of her talking. That's serious shit. That's serious shit. All right, but but today's shit is <laughs> they fucking Domino's pizza. And so what I said to Edwin was, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is Singularity Net doing with a pizza company, right? Yeah, and so look, Domino's Pizza, Malaysia and Singapore to in integrate distributed ledger, tech distributed ledger technology based AI for logistics. And so now I understand it's for the logistics, but it's like, fuck. <clears throat> when I first heard the story, I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Like, what, to ask someone if they want pepperoni on their pizza? <laughs> she can, though. The Sophia thing can. Yeah. Yeah, she can. So look, guys, the Singapore and Malaysia division of Domino's Pizza is partnered with Singularity Net. Bang! To implement its blockchain powered artificial intelligence AI technology, the Domino's division confirmed on May 2nd. <laughs> Within the new partnership, Singularity Net will incorporate AI algorithms and solutions in Domino's operations to improve its supply chain processes and logistics in Malaysia and Singapore, a Singularity Net press release shared with Cointelegraph Notes. And look, I want you to go watch those videos of the Singularity Net guy, Dr. Robert Goitzel with the, with the robot. You know what he says? He says that that robot is going to learn from all the other AIs that are put on it. Yo, man. <sighs> Lock. <laughs> anyway, let's just make this money. So according to the announcement, the strategic partnership aims to improve the food industry's giant's business operations by conducting feasibility studies, running AI-focused workshops, and developing new algorithms specific to the firm's needs. Yes. Now, new AI features are set to be implemented via the SingularityNet beta platform, an Ethereum blockchain-based decentralized marketplace launched in February 2019. Yes. You see these de this decentralized marketplace thing? That's what's going to happen. They're going to allow all these people to put AI on their network. But the Singularity Net AI is going to learn from all of the other AIs that are put on it. Luck, luck. I'm not saying get freaked out. But I'm just saying I'm not a fan. You know that the fucking military is going to get their hands on this shit. Come on, man. Come on, right? Come on. You know, that's not some paranoid shit talk, that old crazy talk. They are. This thing already learns. It thinks. Go watch the videos. Believe me. If you don't believe me, watch the videos, man. I used to have the video. Remember my old laptop that I used to do these uh, broadcasts on had it on there. And so I'd put it on there right now. But, you know, this is a new laptop. So I don't have all those old files I used to have. I still got to get the uh, data out of that old hard drive, actually. Actually, that's probably what I'll do this weekend. Probably head to Best Buy, get a little external hard drive reader and suck the data out of that thing. All right. So, according to the Domino's Pizza has more than 260 stores with a staff of more than 4,000. As Coin Telegraph reported previously, customers can pay for Domino's Pizza with Bitcoin. Don't do that, brothers. As payment through services such as Pizza for Coins. Ay, ay, ay. Recently, Singularity Net partnered with the Chinese insurance company Giant. Yeah, the biggest insurance company in the world. Singularity Net partnered with. You see the quality? Remember we talked about quality. <laughs> That's the quality. The biggest in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to you don't have to invest in blockchain services providers, guys, that aren't doing fuck all. There are many here that are servicing the biggest in the world. And that's, bang, when these institutional investors arrive, that's what they're going to buy. Because they know the due diligence has been performed, and look, it's good to go. All right, so Singular Net and biggest insurance company, bang, bang, in order to deliver its algorithms focusing on optical character recognition, 
computer vision, and model training. All right. As well, Singularity Net a, entered into another partnership. They got another customer with agricultural focused blockchain startup Hara to apply blockchain to provide farmers in Indonesia with uh, data such as grain prices, soil quality, and land ownership details. So, but bang, there it is, Singularity Net. I mean, I told you guys about Singularity Net, and like I'm telling you, Google it. Google Singularity Net. Where is this thing? Let me even bang it. Bang! Google that. They have a robot, man. Well, they have an AI, and it talks. Yeah, motherfuckers, it talks. It talks. And that's why it's funny to me that they're with some fucking stupid little pizza company. <laughs> but I mean, yo, man, Domino's is Domino's. It's worldwide, and that's what we do around here. That's what my show's about, showing you revenue-generating companies. And so, well, they got Domino's, man. But just, <laughs> it's so weird. Maybe I'm just thinking it's weird. Maybe it's not so weird to some of you guys. So say it in the comments or something. And straightening me out about it. But I just don't know. I mean, it's for the back end stuff, the logistics and stuff. Like it says right here for the logistics, but. I don't know. You know. Bang! All right, brothers, let's move on. Bang! What we do? Bang! There we go. Yes, brothers, what have I been telling you since last December? Buy our large caps, buy our large caps now. All right, brothers. So I've been telling brothers and sisters, but like I've been telling you, I've been saying this. But you know what I mean? I want you to hear it from a CEO, important guy. Yes. So buy Bitcoin before next bull run in H2. <laughs> you mean Q2, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Q2, 2009. These websites, these crypto websites, these guys are morons. <laughs> before H, uh, before H2, before Q2, 2019. Fund strat analyst advises. All right, let's check it out. Bang! <laughs> fucking H2. What the fuck is that? Fucking morons. Yes, brothers. These fucking little crypto nerds, you know. Well, actually, this is a crypto nerd website or a news site. So, actually, this is probably some just little little girl out of a little kid out of out of college for his uh, journalism class. He knows nothing about crypto and he knows nothing about markets. <laughs> Look, brothers. Thankfully for you, I know about both. Wow. I know about markets. I don't know about that other shit I talked about. Look, I don't know about journalism. Well, journalism is easy. Just tell the truth. Look. Bitcoin's price may pull back soon, but investors should leverage it to buy more. Buy the dips, fuck stick. That's what it is. Buy the dips, BTDI. <clears throat> well, BTDF. Uh, Bloomberg quoted market strategy firm uh, Fundstrat Global on May 3rd. In a note to investors, uh, to clients, on May 3rd, Fundstrat analyst Robert Schleimer said that while Bitcoin's current price, holy man, I'm all fucked up. <laughs> I know what they're trying to say, but because I actually read this one. All right, let's just read the words on the screen. While Bitcoin's current strength marks the start of a longer term bullish trend, the accumulation phase is not yet over. And that's exactly it, brothers. This isn't the accum you are in. You are now in the accumulation phase. Bang, 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 bang. We bought all the way bet all the way down during the blood bath la the bloodbath of la of last year, right? All right. Well, now we're in the easy times. Accumulate. Accumulate. Yeah, yeah. There's not so much yap 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 now. There's not so much yap yap. When there was when we were at three one, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of yap 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 then. And that's why I can't even tell the yap 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 story anymore. Fucking shit. <laughs> Cause now with the there shouldn't be much more. Don't worry, brothers. I'll squeeze one in. We'll just let me get, let's get one more blood red. And I'll squeeze it in. Yes, it'll be an excuse. It's not no much yap, yap, yap when you're at 5'8". <laughs> when you're at 5'8 on the Bitcoin. Yes. 
Not so much yap, yap, yap now. And uh, so, you know, you know, we're on a long term bullish. So uh, like Edwin said, my buddy, one of the brothers, Edwin, he told me once, Shamari, man, when you first started to tell us that you weren't going to take money out till 2020, I didn't like it, but now I understand. Yeah, man, it takes time, but we are in a bullish trend. You see, we're in a bullish trend. We're a three one up, hang out up, hang out up, and consolidate up and consolidate. That's what we're gonna do for the next eight years. Yeah, brothers. Yeah, man. I know. I know it sounds fuck. You know, if you were here for the dot com bubble, yeah. That's what we're about to do. All the battling we had to do was last year during the blood red. This is the easy times now. Just keep accumulating, brothers. All of you who went through the blood red with me, your 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 portfolio should look just solid now. Like you should have, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to have, but just you should have, you know, revenue generating product. Remember last year in the summer? We figured out which the working product was, and then we went from there, right? That's what you should have, all right? And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, and we're just, bang, waiting for, you know, we see the trickle. Bang! Yes. We got the championship nations. The money's coming in. We're moving up nicely. Bang! You know, you know, that's it. That's it. You know, so let's let's move on from here. <laughs> let's just read this story. So, in a note, all right. Uh, BTC USD has climbed throughout the week to hit 2019 highs on Friday. Continuing on, all right. What well, fuck all that? We don't care about prices. Um. So, what the guy says is, use the pullbacks to continue accumulating Bitcoin in the second quarter in anticipation of a second half rally. And that's what I've been telling you. That's what I've been telling you, man. May, June, July, brothers. We're going to have a nice rally. And we're not going to stop rallying for another seven years. Sure, man. You mean that? Yeah, man. I said it, didn't I? Fuck stick. <laughs> if you go to the very first day of my channel. Where's the first day of this channel? Let me show you fuck sticks. Let's have some fun. <laughs> if you go to the first day. And what was fun was that Poppywood brought it out. I didn't even know that I said that. Well, I mean, I know what I'm saying, but I mean, just. I didn't know how amazing, you know, like. That's not the way to say it. But just. Look. Okay. I've been telling you from day one, boys. 2019 is going to be the rally. Why can't we just get to the end? What the hell? Oh, here we go. Here's the end. Is this the end? Ah, fuck all this. I don't even know what the hell's going on. But look, guys. I told you from the beginning. All right? <laughs> I think I went backwards. I went the wrong way. Fuck it. I'm not going to keep you because you got wives and lives. But um, I told you from the beginning, man, 2019 is going to be the beginning of, you know, of the bubble, the new bubble that's coming. Yeah, in 2017, we had a retail bubble. Yeah, 2019, we're going to have an institutional bubble. Yeah, institutional FOMO. It's really that simple. All right. <laughs> Aw. I fucked up, man. I wanted to show you guys that shit, and I went the other way. All right. Using penbacks to, to be... You, oh, oh, this is his advice, and I, I suggest this advice as well. Use pending pullbacks to continue accumulating Bitcoin to continue accumulating your Bitcoin in the second quarter in anticipation of a second half rally. Through the six thousand dollar resistance, he advises. I advise the same thing. If you can afford it, while it's premature to conclude, Bitcoin will not reset 
or sorry, retest support near 4.3. It's not going to do that. Don't worry about that. We would encourage traders and investors to remain focused on the bullish longer term technical profile developing. And that's what we've been talking about. That's what this whole channel has been about. We've been watching the infrastructure being built. We've been watching the custody being built. We've been watching the ETFs be applied for. We've been watching the futures contracts being applied for. We've been watching the infrastructure being built and growing. And so we know that there's a bullish sentiment going forward in the long term. That's the fundamental analysis. All that technical analysis bullshit, you can fuck all that. Believe me, I'm a Forex trader. I do technical analysis every day. This is bullshit in the, that's bullshit in the Forex, uh, in the uh, crypto market. But the fundamental analysis is strong. Yes. The fundamental analysis is strong. We have a tsunami of money that's coming to get us. <laughs> and you just got to sit back, relax, and wait for it, brothers. Bang! Slumer was following increasing bullish sentiment on Bitcoin from analyst circles. <sighs> Which this week included fellow fund strat executive Tom Lee, who also revealed he was positive on the coming year. Yeah, be positive. And that's what I'm telling you, like, I noticed in all of you guys, you look at the every individual penny of a V-chain, you look at every, fuck all that. You're gonna, we're going to reach all-time highs one day. So just think about it from that point of view, the all-time highs. We're way down here, just buy until we reach all-time highs. Once we reach all-time highs, all right, then we'll start talking about, you know, settling down, all right? Around the time of Bitcoin's owner, and then blah blah blah. Uh, around the according to the around the time of so we're down here now. We're not going to talk about the price. Who gives a shit? Around the time of Bitcoin's November collapse, Slumer had, meanwhile, correctly anticipated the troubled, the trouble ahead. Warning: It would take time for Bitcoin to to recover its technical robustness. Yeah. Things take time. Things take time. But remember, you're going to get rich, brothers. Remember, you're going to get rich. There's going to be scarcity. Bang! And in Q2, like I've been telling you since last year, if you've been with me, brothers, since last year, you know what I've been telling you. I brought you the CEOs that tell you Q1. And technically, Q1, yeah, it did go. It did go. It went from 3-1 to 5, 5 and change. So, Novogratz was right. But I'm telling you, May, June, July. <laughs> but we are on the way to glory. All right, brothers, let's get you back to your wives and lives. Let's chill it and kill it. <laughs> Bang. And let's do our daily summary after that. Bang. See our logo. Bang. Let's get to the notifications. Bang. All right. Who we got? Who we got? Ryan. Bang. See you, brother. Bitcoin Kong, yeah, he's got, the, wait, 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 got the V-chain, bang, see you, brother, sweetie, bang, bang, blockchain style in our song choice, bang, see you, girl, Don's, Tron, Lounge, premium, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. what is he saying, premium tokens, only DATL, a variety of premium token drops, Guild chat platform. Wait, 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 wait. Blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. All right, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Yes. Dino. Bang. See you, Netherlands, brother. Bang. Yes. Binham. See you, brother. Bang. All right. Yeah, so there it is. Hold on. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bitcoin Kong. Thank you for tweeting this to me today because at a price like this, what do we have today? We had a big old boom. <laughs> look, look. Today we had a big old boom, sons of bitches. Look, brothers. One more. Boom. Yes, Kong. Yes, Kong. We had a big old. Oh, and look at. Oh, airdropper came in dark. Yes. Hold on. Let's get to him. Hold on. Bang. See you, brother. Hurricane Masta. Crypto Duggle. Double D. Bang. See you, brother, buddy. Radster. 
back. Oh, you changed the shit. That's why I didn't recognize him. What's he looking at now? Oh, he doesn't. Well, wow. all right, Radster. <laughs> he's not. He's not talking about the Bengals thing anymore. Yeesh. You gave up on that, brother. Look, brother. NFL season is right around the corner. <laughs> Draft picks just happened this week, brother. Bang! We'll see how it goes for you next year. Yes, look at this son of a bitch. Bang! 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 See you, 007. Here's Ronquez. And look at what Ronquez said. He said, building extra departments on my blockchain warehouse. Bang. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the winter is coming. It's coming. I told you guys. Told you. Told you. That's what's about to happen. Look, look. I'm not going to ruin anything for people who didn't watch the episode. But I'm going to ruin it next week. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm ruining it next week. But that's what's about to happen. You saw when they sent out the 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 the... the the Dothraki. Yeah. Yeah, those are the weekends. <laughs> we had to get fighting up in. You saw how it was, brothers. You saw the battle. You had to fight up in the cuts. Yeah, right up in the. Right? Right? They couldn't hold off that death army. I'm not going to ruin it. We couldn't hold off the death army. Motherfuckers were fighting right inside the castle. Right inside the castle. And that's what we're doing, brothers. We were fighting right inside the castle. Bang! And look, look. We're going to fend off that death army. Bang. Well, we did that already. That was last year. Exactly. You see the bloodbath of last year? Yeah, that was the death army. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to say it. Yeah, last year? Shit. That death army went out and the Dothraki went out? Yeesh. That wasn't good. That didn't work. Those guys got slaughtered. <laughs> And then these guys came, bang, bang, and they slaughtered. And it was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. The bloodbath of the crypto bloodbath. The crypto bloodbath of 2018, brothers. But look, just like Game of Thrones, we survived it. Yes. Some of us had dragons. Some had to fight in the cuts. <laughs> but we survived it. And now it's our time of glory. Look, DP Entertainment, see you, brother. Bang. Yes. Some oh damn oh damn boy damn all right but seriously that was last year that was last year the death army came and we survived and that's why Ronk is that son of a bitch yes he was one of the he's part of my crew he was here from the beginning and yes yes Ronquez look at you Ronquez Ronquez brother son of a bitch but look look though Ronquez bang. We did it. Bang. Yes. We fucking survived it. We survived it. Yeah, and all the brothers. Fucking, uh, who else survived? Bob? Yes. Edwin? Yes. Poppy? Yes. But he's a Tron lover, so that's a little different. But it survived. Yes. Fucking the darkness. The darkness. <laughs> here he is here. That's Justin right there. <laughs> Look. But just, but seriously, the darkness survived. Yes, brothers. Uh, well, well, who else we got? Cousin Pop, uh, Cousin David. Bang, survived. Who else survived last year's bloodbath? Uh, what's his name? The Australian. My brother right there. Desert Garden. Bang, survived. Yes, yes. We survived that winter. You want to come test us? You want to come test us, pussy? Come test us. Me and my subscribers, bang! We've been waiting for you the whole time. Yes, just like the, just like they were over there, just like they were in the castle, right? They waited in the castle, and that's what we did last year. Last year, what was it? Shamari telling everyone, "Calm down, settle down. Look, look, we got fucking custody. Look, look, <laughs> look, look. We got, we, we, we got. You know, Winglevoss is subscribing. Gentlemen, people don't." People are bringing their money. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. And the attack happened. Mm. And we survived the onslaught. And now we reap our reward. So finally get back to your wives and lives, brothers.
time. Yes. Let me get you back to your bang wives. Bang and lives. Yes. Let's do our, our usual daily summary. Let's do our summary. Cute him. Bang. You got your Google shit. Nice. Singularity net. Holy. AI for pizza. But it's the back end stuff. But I mean, Domino's is using Singularity net for their back end processes. But really? I mean, oh, you know what? That's interesting. So what that shows you is Domino's is going AI now. What? What? Yes. So in terms of our money, amazing. Singularity net, like I said. Yeah, you know, I invest in working product, but let's look at the domino side of it. You guys are going AI and using crypto AI. Yeah. And then finally, yeah, guys, buy your crypto now. Buy Bitcoins before the next bull run. We are in the bull. We got to settle down with that bull run talk. We're going to get consolidation up. Consolidation up. Consolidation for the next eight years. So just keep buying on the way up, and your portfolio is just going to grow. So buy. Let me get you back to Wives and Lives. This chill and kill it. Bang. Subscribe below. Uh, press the notification. Uh, press the bell. Oh, press the thumbs up as well so uh, YouTube knows you liked it. And then press the notification bell so you get the notifications and like. Look, look, look. I love doing this for you. It's my favorite time of the day. Bang. Smart clock. Bang. We got money in this. Bang. Let's do this, brothers. Yes, brothers. This is our time. This is your time. Once in a lifetime chance. You're the one with the assets now. Not those fuck sticks. Hold tight. Hold hard. And keep accumulating. I'll see you next week. See you on Tuesday. Bang. The Shamar Clark. Always on duty. Yeah, fuck stick. Over and out.